What's going on, guys? I'm Mini Call here, coming back at coming back at you rather with another video. Uh, first and foremost, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below uh, for more Marvel Strike Force content. Um, so the Jubilee event is officially live. So uh, that has started. Um, like I said in a previous video, uh, sadly, Mini Call will not be unlocking Jubilee this first pass around. Um, however, I do have a bunch of uh, red star, or not red stars, but I've got a bunch of red star orbs to open. I I thought that'd be kind of fun to open them up on screen. Also go through the uh, first couple um, of the Jubilee event nodes, um, just to kind of see how Mini does. Um, so first and foremost, let's just pop in um, and let's hope for the best with these um, Red Star Orbs. I am going to quickly go in here and buy a Ghost Shard real fast. Um, Alright, so boom. So we've got uh, 10 Red Star Orbs to open. Um, right now, I also have um, one 4 Star Orb to open, and I'm just about 3k away from another 4 star. I'm 1k away from a 5 star, and insanely far away from a 6 star, so that probably will not be happening. Um, sorry about that, just gonna pop on a little more light over here. Um, Alright, so let's jump into it. Uh, we are going to open up these orbs, see what happens today. Um, like I said, I am hoping to hopefully at the very least get um, four stars for Jubilee would be really good. Um, so we've got two. That's a nice little start for things. Um, so like I was saying, um, I was hoping to maybe get four stars. Um, would be awesome if I could get five stars uh, for a little mini. Um, I'm going to be opening orbs also on um, Khaleesi and Jakaris, and uh, we'll see what happens on those two accounts. Um, Let's see. All right. No boo. Super. Um, so another thing, obviously, with mini, um, I don't open all that many uh, red stars yet in the account. So um, pretty much any, f I would say almost like half the characters um, is probably going to be an upgrade um, just because the account is so new. Um, so, you know, in the long run, you know, obviously that is a good thing. Um I did want to, all right, perfect. So I did get at least enough to do two four-star openings. Um, so let's see what happens with that. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, you know, I know there's always that good old-fashioned seed theory. Um, I don't know if I really buy that. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Um, but anyway, so uh, got a Karnak on that one. Uh, do one more. Got a four-star Jubilee, so that's a awesome start. Um, we'll do one more. Um, I do have one Elite Five, so fingers crossed over here. Let's see what we got. And a five-star Crystal. Meh, I'm not mad at it. Um, so that was our Red Stars uh, for this Jubilee event so far. Um, let's just pop in there real fast. We'll uh, upgrade these characters uh, super quick. And then uh, also, I'm just curious to see what the offer section is looking like today. Um, you know, it's always interesting when they are starting a new legendary event, um, what type of um, like promos and stuff that they're doing. Um, so let's see what Scopely is offering today. Boom, that's all of my Red Star upgrades. Um, just out of curiosity. So. So, yeah, nothing all that exciting. Um, and certainly nothing uh, I'd be buying on Mini. Um, like I previously mentioned, uh, Mini is totally free to play, with the exception of RTA. I do spend on that um, just because the rewards are honestly too hard for me to pass up on. Um, so we got these perfect, nothing really worth reading. So let's pop in, let's go into the Jubilee event. Um, like I said, I think I'll only be able to get up to, I think, Tier 3 um, because of my Wasp. Um, she's only three stars currently. But um, So let's go. We'll do the uh, first couple nodes, just see what happens. Um, I might get enough orbs to actually open up a uh, Mega Orb, um, which those always can be pretty interesting, especially on the newer accounts. Um also, it's pretty cool that the way they've been doing the legendary events, um, I think 
as far back as I can remember, honestly, um, that you are always getting to kind of play the full team first. Um, so I think it's always kind of cool to you see what the potential team is going to do, um, even if it's not a team that you're not going to be unlocking um, for a little while. Um, kind of goes through a little thing, um, you know, more or less telling you what the team does. Um, which, you know, it's just kind of a little bit more of an explanation of the kit. Um, I'm going to go through with um, three times speed until I get to uh, Bishop or Jubilee. Um, I actually honestly haven't played um, Bishop on uh, Khaleesi or on Jakaris yet. So uh, just curious to see the animations and uh, see what those look like. Um, so it's ultimate, he attacks primary target for 270. If charged, he attacks for 540 instead, and then he removes charged. Um, um, special over here, 300 damage. If Jubilee is an ally, he gains offense up. Attacks primary target for 400 damage instead, so an increase of 100,000. And then he's going to apply offense up and defense up to Jubilee, and this attack becomes unavoidable, and it is always going to crit. Um, so let's go ahead and pop that off. We'll do it against Sinister, see what that looks like. Um, so Jubilee essentially is kind of charging him, and then he is sending out that attack. Uh, looks like we got an assist by Beast, um, which is part of Jubilee's um, passive, I believe. Um, all right, so we're going to pop that in, uh, do the ult, get some slows on the field. Uh, we'll do Kitty Pride special. And, uh, you know, obviously these things, it's always kind of not the best judge of a team um, just because you know, I mean you realistically, you don't know what the stats of these characters are um, what your stats are, etc um, but sir, Jubilee's ultimate attack primary for 400 damage plus 50 piercing, plus reduce the speed bar by 25%, applies stun, attack all other enemies for 200% plus 50% piercing applies one slow to all enemies all right, so that's going to basically, that mechanic really gets um, Iceman going. Um, so what will happen with that now is um, on every enemy's turn, they are going to basically get that slow damage from Iceman, um, which is pretty cool. Um, looks like the assist mechanic is going off pretty frequently. And I've been kind of thinking about, uh, especially with Kitty Pride and her T4, um, her T4 is very unique in the fact that it clears two positive buffs. And if she was used as a striker, um, her bonus attack would actually clear an additional two buffs. Um, so you're looking at basically wiping um, four buffs off the field per turn, which I think is pretty cool. Um, Bishop isn't charged, but he does have offense up, so let's go ahead and pop his ultimate and see what that looks like. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure why it's focused on uh, Kitty Pride's rear end, but, you know, I am not here to judge. Um... Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and pop off Jubilee's big ultimate. That's the one that is the mass attack where everyone is basically going to swarm. Um, she also should get a kill, so it should spread uh, three negative effects. Boom, everything's going to be dead. But um, anyway, let's just see what that looks like. So, boom. Kind of sending out a direction. Um, hmm. And I'm wondering if because... Actually, you know what? I'm I'm mistaken. I think it's her ultimate that she calls everyone to kind of attack, and I just wasn't paying attention, which is a total possibility. Um, let's go ahead and speed this up to uh, three speed. Finish this fight off. Um, so far, the team is uh, functioning pretty well. Um, you know, I'm always a little skeptical, like I said, um, doing these fights in the actual um, event, just because, again, this team is built as a raid team, so a lot of their mechanics only work in raids, and you also don't know the stats of the entire team, like how many red stars they are, yellow stars, etc., um, but it just gives you kind of an idea of how the team functions, um, and I think that's kind of important when you're looking at legendary teams. Um, you want a legendary team that functions well, obviously. Um, you're spending all these resources to get that team, so you want them to function pretty well. Um, in the background right now, um, the reason I keep looking down, I do apologize for that, but I am currently running the Jubilee event on both Jokaris and Khaleesi, so... Um, I've actually just been autoing the nodes, um, so just kind of playing through um, down here. 
Um, so I do apologize that I'm looking down, but I'm just kind of getting those fights started. Um, so far, I've had no issues um, autoing the fights. Um, I know there was kind of a lot of talk with um, this event in particular, with them actually like requiring red stars and recommended T4s, was really kind of unique. Um, so anyway, um, I'm trying to see... I could have sworn one of her attacks was supposed to... Oh, that's this one over here. So I guess that's part of the problem, is that so she's not T4'd. And uh, the reason I know that is because it says she's only attacking one... Uh, she's only adding the uh, assist from one random ally. And I know when it's T4'd, it's all allies on the field. But um, anyway... So far, um, this event, like I said, it's been pretty easy. Um, I've been autoing it, you know, like I said, on Khaleesi and Jakaris, no problems. And um, so far on Mini, um, you know, no problems either, especially this first node. Um, I know Scopely had kind of said that um, this might be a little harder um, than past legendary events. But so far, I mean, I'm not noticing anything. Um, it's going to pop up on the screen in just a second. Um, but I uh, was able to unlock Jubilee on Khaleesi, um, no problem. Um, and, I mean, that's at five stars. Um, I'm a few shards away from being able to get Jubilee to six stars. Um, I will actually be able to do that before her event ends. And uh, Jakaris is uh, just a few shards away from unlocking her at five stars as well. Um, so, so far, I mean, unless, you know, the sixth section is harder, um, you know... I'll find that out, I guess, tomorrow. But um, honestly, this has been a pretty easy, very normal, legendary event. Um, like I said, I just popped through on uh, auto with Khaleesi and Drakaris. Um, You know, Khaleesi is a, definitely in a more unique situation where, um, you know, my PIM team on Khaleesi is 521k. So, I mean, they're definitely a beefy PIM tech team. I wasn't worried on uh, Khaleesi and looking at Drakaris, um, you know, my PIM tech team is uh, 424k. Um, so still pretty beefy. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, uh, no problems uh, unlocking, and um, I should have no problems with that um, six-star node. Uh, I think tomorrow is probably what I'm shooting for. Um, and like I said, I'll have her unlocked on Trakaris uh, tomorrow as well. Um, sadly for Mini, I am really short on... Um, combination of both wasp shards as well as yellow jacket and ghost shards um so i think for mini call um the unlock will be her next pass around um so in approximately you know three to three and a half months from now which is fine um you know, hopefully she potentially might be my first real legendary unlock. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I might be able to get Black Bolt on his nest pass around, but we'll see. Um, so just from that quick little playthrough, um, the team played really well. Um, the assists were kind of going off very consistently. I'll be curious to see how that works in an actual raid and outside of the legendary event. Um, we did earn ourselves a Mega Orb, um, so let's go ahead and open that. Those are always you know fun um especially for a new account um you never know what you're gonna get in these things and eh, not so much <laughs> um taskmaster i mean it's great um certainly an awesome war defense that is nowhere near um what mini is ready to do yet um but eh, i'll take it um so hopefully uh everyone has some good luck with jubilee um i'll be doing a jubilee playthrough um you know actually playing with her um on a full team with a couple blitz bladders um in a day or two, um, I do need to get her leveled up and whatnot, and I'll do some more thoughts on what I think of the Astonishing X-Men team. 
Um, I actually, I might take them through uh, Ultima 7.2 and see how they do in that, um, just to really kind of play test the team. Um, so look for that in the near future. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed and uh, joined Minis Kalasar, um, please feel free to do so. There'll be a link at the end of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, look forward to making more Marvel Strike Force content. And if you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see in particular, you can always let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching, and congrats on all the people that are unlocking Jubilee today. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.